Year, folks, uh, several agricultural shoes. Uh, I'm sure you all know the ones from this local area.
Up the other floor. That just looks so good. Okay, folks, so you just stop where you are. You're going to stop where you are. And you're going to sort of spread out in the bunch there. A little bit so that we can see the dog. Yeah, you couldn't move down a wee bit there, just, just head down towards that cone and we'll spread out a wee bit, that's it. That'll do lovely, yep, calling. And can you come on right? <laughs> Okay, folks, we've still got two entries. We've still got two entries in this category. Uh, our owners, our dogs. <laughs> My, but there's some handsome dogs out there. Very handsome dog. Pretty dog. <laughs> but I do like the turnout, I must admit. It's fantastic. So, in reverse order, we have Jennifer and Pippa. And Jennifer is in sixth place. You want to give me the ball? Just, okay. Or do you want the exercise? <laughs> well done, Jennifer. Well done. Well done. In fifth place, folks, it's Pauline and Peppy. Well done, Pauline. Well done. There you go. Then in fourth place, we have Laura, Laura and Maisie. Well done. Shall I do all the walking? <laughs> Be quiet, somebody said they need the exercise there. Okay, so the top three then. Very hard decision. Well, I keep on saying that. But very tough decision. But in third place, we're in for Sheila with Jake and Juju. Yay!
Then, folks, for a dog that looks most like its owner, it has to go to Jasmine and Leah with no one uh, Well done. <laughs> folks, a, a huge entry, 33, 33 entries. Fill in a gap, if you see a gap. Fill in, Christy. I'll send you in here, sir. That's good, folks. So we've got 33 entries. Unbelievable. That is fantastic. Yeah. That was the 33 entries in, folks, as I said to you before. Tom Garden here has been responsible for rehoming 300. To all the volunteers, not to that wasp that seems to chase me about the place. Also, uh, don't forget, folks, the car boot sale is on here every Sunday morning. Uh, there's ladies that help on the bark stall. Uh, Sheila, Noling, Tracy, Terry, uh, Denise, Elaine, Joanne, Claire, I don't know who she is. Uh, a big thanks to Paul for uh, sorting us out with the food today. Uh, Folks, when I look around the arena and I see the breeds of dog, I find it incredible, absolutely incredible, that some of these, these dogs have been abandoned or somebody's had them rehomed. It's just incredible. I don't think there's too many folks watching there would like to be in Irene and I's shoes right now. Uh, Absolutely not, no. Folks, a big round of applause again for all the rescue dogs. Fantastic. Good turnout. As I say, this must be, and I, and I don't like to boast, but this must be one of the biggest dog shows in the north of the province. It must be. Uh, as far as fun dog shows go, it must be one of the biggest. And, and it's yourselves who are responsible for making it the biggest. So we want to thank you all very, very much indeed before I announce the winners here from myself uh, and that thing. Uh, it's been a fantastic turnout. And from the two of us who run dog training classes, uh, we see a lot of... Everyone. There's that many entries with three sheets of names, so it's very difficult to keep track of them all. Okay. <laughs> And in fifth place, we're with Selena and Lady. Selena and Lady. Oh, well done, Selena. Now it takes a lot of courage, folks, to leave on the big dog. Well done. And it takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of money to feed this big fella. So, well done, Michael. We're in the top three again, folks. And in third place, it's Yvonne and Sophie. Well done. Well done, Sophie. Come on.